What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor early in the morning? There uh, she is, Bill, sailing right across your shoulder blades. Hey, you should have put her on my chest where I could get a look at her now and then. Scratch her, will you? She itches. Um, your marigold's a sweet little ship, Bill. Uh, good stuff in her, too. I helped lay the keel myself. Independent trading in the islands ain't what it used to be. No. Company schooners out of Sydney gets the cream of the trade. It means I can get a load of copper from Jim. Only to find the Walla Wagga Burns been in and got the last of it and sailed on his wildfire. It was Walla Wagga brung me young Mr. Carr here. Carr's dying of a broke heart. <laughs> I was when I came here. Now I'm dying of homesickness. You see... My girl married the other fellow. If any man steals your girl, suck him in the nose and get another one. Just like Jim here'd do to me if I should steal his Mary. Change so, Bill. You can have anything I got. Take a brush from both. Well, tide's coming in. We got to go out on it. Come on, if you're sailing with me. So long, Mary. Tell Jim goodbye for me when he wakes up. We got a passenger, Mike. Mr. Carr. Mike is mate and chief cook and supercargo and steward aboard the Marigold. <laughs> We're taking Mr. Carr as far as Tapillo. Ah, I like Tapillo. My Anana is there. Ah, you and your Anana. Come on, shove up. <laughs> Yo, ho, you fellow boys. Get out, you lazy lumps. We're heading for shore. The rail and trim the sail to the fore. Get out the fore, get out the fore, get out the fore. Reef two, hover below. Look where you go and pay out a sound in line. A sound in line. Heave two, and measure the depth. We measure our depth. It's 14 fathoms now. And drop into nine. Bang, yo ho, you kinky heads. You hanker, drop your anchor, heading for shore. Become our slaves, we make them all behave the way that we want them to. Ship for high, we're riders of the rolling sea. We sail the rough uncharted parts, no fear within our hearts, and ready to die or do. Ship for high, if you save your neck, every lover on deck, listen. To land the guide. Aye, aye. The scum of the South Seas. The Maori mate, she sailed pretty quick, Captain. Better hurry. She's the only steamer stopping here for a month to come. <laughs> well, come on. We'll drop you at the dock. <laughs> That's a funny thing. You know, I had every kind of sickness except love sickness. Not that I ain't broken a lot of hearts in my time. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Winter are over, always are over. It'll be a long time before I look at another woman. She gave me this to remember her by. All I want now is to forget. Hey, that looked like money. It was once a lucky gold piece. A gold piece? Hey, backwater, Mike! Get it! Gee, if I wasn't feeling so bummed today, I'd have gone after it myself. Oh, Mike will get it. He's the best underwater man on the island. Is it good to spend? Some people might want it. Well, then why don't you say so? Here's me without a copper in my pocket, let alone a gold piece. What is it? The Spanish doubloon. Oh, boy, am I 
Charlie, good boy. <laughs> a shark. Yeah, a female of the species. Hello, Captain Bill. Loving kisses. Hello, Anna. This is Mike's bad luck. Meet Mr. Carr. Mmm, he's nice. I like him. You come to stay at Mamie's Hotel? We show you a good time. Oh, Mr. Carr sailing on the Maury Maid. You better change your mind. See you tonight, Anana. I don't know, Mike. Maybe I take trip on Maury Maid myself. Come here, Mike. Time enough for that later. What did I tell you? They're all alike. Car. Thanks for all you've done for me, Captain Jones. I've only ten pounds left. It'll take that to get me home. I'm afraid I can't pay you for my passage here. Ah, forget it. <laughs> you keep the gold piece. I hope it brings you better luck than it did me. All right, thanks, thanks. So long. So long. I knew a dame in this town was kind of sweet on me once. We'll look her up. What good will that do? She married into a grocery store. Leave the grub to me. Yeah, you better look out to get your throat cut. What we need is a drink. Come on, we'll try Joplin. All right. to get a cargo of trade goods and stores if we're to keep going. The worst of it, Dublin's the only guy on the beach that sells the stuff we need. But you don't owe him nothing, Captain. You settled with him last time we were here. Yeah, I poked the old cheat in the nose, too. It may hurt my credit a little. Oh, you fix him up. Hey, how about that drink, Captain? Stand by. I'll come out of there with a bottle of bust. Ain't you got no greeting for your old sparring partner, Captain Jones? Well, what do you want? Drink! Here we are. Here's how, Dublin. Well? Oh, yeah. yeah. Take a look at that, Dublin. Know what it is? Looks like gold. What do you take for it? A couple of dollars? Oh, a couple of dollars. Why, that's a Spanish doubloon. That's the real thing. That's what pirates used to lay aboard ships and plunder towns to get. Couple of dollars. Huh. Under the water, be truthful. Just off an island. Maybe a treasure island, Jabra. Was there much treasure? Much? Look. How much do you think a couple of kegs, chock-a-block full of those things, would be worth? Oh, my soul. A couple of kegs. You know, I, I can be a great help to you in this. You're darn right you can. I'll be back tonight. Fine, fine. Hello, Sherry. Hello. 
What's your name? Banana. Banana. Shoot, Monsieur Samson. Here. <laughs> oh, I thought they had you in the jug over at Sydney. <laughs> it is a long story, my friend. Move over and I tell you. Gold. Are you sure it's real gold? Betcha. You know how these buried treasure tales have been going through the islands all these years? Well, it's about time somebody found some, don't you think? How much did you get, Bill? Well, it's hard to say just how much this stuff is worth, but if the people in the town got the idea I had a couple of kegs aboard my ship, huh? Of course, I haven't, really. All I've got is this one little piece as a sample. <laughs> I know you, Bill. You always was lucky. Yeah, I won't deny that. Well, I gotta go, Mame. I gotta see... Bill, anything in the house is yours. Oh, thanks. But remember, I'm trusting you, Mamie. Not a word of this to a soul. Not a word, Bill. Not a word. Well, so long. So long, Bill. So, here I am, my friend. Badly in need of money. Suggest uh, you get it for me. Very quick. I'm broke. Ah, but you can get some for me. It will be better for you. Sam, listen, Sam. What do you want? I've got to talk to you, quick. It's private. Ooh, never would I intrude upon two lovers' secrets. Don't forget what I tell you, eh? Well? Sam, what do you think's happened? That big lunkhead, Captain Bill Jones, has found a pirate treasure. Gold, Sam, he's got it aboard his boat. A pirate treasure? Are you drunk so early? I ought to suck you one. I tell you, I saw it, Sam. Saw what? Pockets full of gold. Hands full of Spanish coins. Gold, Sam. Gold. Don't you realize? Gold! Hey! Hey, Mike! Mike! Uh, oh, we wait for you, Captain. Well, I'm staying ashore. I got a date with Joplin. Where's Bert? Huh? Here he comes. Come on. Come back here with that. Hey, come on. 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 H
See, Doc. That's right. I was unconscious last time uh, you made the feel. My old enemy here had me down. Yeah, I heard about it. Must have been a rip snorter. Well, it was. I was out for three days. <laughs> I saw the manigold coming in this morning. I've been waiting for you. Hello, hello. Sit down, Bill. Have some breakfast. Yes, sir. Drop a half dozen eggs in the pan. Bring out the cold joint and fill up the big pot of coffee. Right away. Here's to your appetite, Bill. It's never failed me yet. How's yours? You look fit. Oh, I'm about the same. I exist on this mostly. You can't teach a besotted old stomach new tricks. Tell me about yourself. Where have you been, Bill? What you been doing? See this thing? That's a doubloon. Where'd you steal it? Found it. Found it? Yep. At the bottom of a lagoon. Oh, but you're a liar, Bill. No, I ain't. Not much of a one. <laughs> Say, what are you up to? Well, Doc, here's the way of it. What's this yarn about Captain Jones and his treasure? Treasure? I don't know anything about any treasure. Don't lie to me, Joblin. He told Mamie he was over here talking to you. The fool? Blabbing it all over town. How much has he got, did he? Did he say? You would never believe it, Samson. But he brought back two kegs of it. Two kegs of it, Bill? Chuck a block. <laughs> You're killing me, Bill. You're a calamity to these parts. <laughs> ah, if I only had some trade goods, knives, tobacco, muskets, flash junk, I could take a swing through the islands. That is, if I had some grub. Joblin might stake you on speculation. He's hard up for cash. Joblin? Ah, the old pirate owns half the island. Yes, but he's overreached himself with land. Says him right. He's as crooked as a sea serpent. <laughs> Here's someone who knows more about that than either of us. Past eight years. Well... How'd that be? Oh, I'll tell you sometime. Oh, please go on with your breakfast. I have to change anyway. But hurry back. I will. What's the matter, Bill? Did you see the way she looked at me? Yeah, it seemed to register. Register? She was a bullseye. I could feel a bell ringing inside me. No, she's the daughter of an old friend, Captain Dodd Lewis. He was murdered and his safe broken open, everything taken, including a note for 20000 which he'd loaned to Joblin. Madge came here to collect the money. She had nothing else. But Joblin paid off the note before Lewis' death, that it was returned to him and he destroyed it. Of course, Madge knows he's lying, but she has no proof. She had no money, no place to go, so I made her come here. Joblin's a dirty crook. Well, I'm almost sure of that. I'll make him tell the truth. I'll break every ribbon in his chest one by one. Oh, no. You can't do that, Bill. Oh, please don't get up. What's the matter? Oh, Joblin's the matter. Always has been the cheating devil. Oh, never mind, Joblin. Go finish your breakfast. And let me congratulate you, Captain Bill. I'm so glad for you. About what? Why, the treasure, of course. Who told you about the treasure? Why, everybody's talking about it. It's all over town. <laughs> all over town. Oh, Bill. I got it straight from Captain Bill's mate. They brought back a whole fortune in gold pieces. I know a man who saw the gold. Pieces of eight. Spanish doubloons. Found in the bottom lagoon. Pirate trade. No, it was on the Campbell Island. How much do you suppose he got? Four kegs for it. He only over with it. Four kegs? Just for did you say ten barrels of gold? Eight barrels, nothing. Twenty he's got. The blue. The blue. Pirate's treasure. Gold? Treasure? Gold? Did you hear? Those guys found gold. Oh, do I have any gold? Gold. Pirate gold, Mike? Gold. Gold and gold. In the cave. Big iron bound kiss. Rotten and bursting with it. Jewels and foils scattered among dead men's bones. That's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> what beach was it, old fellow, me lad? <laughs> Never you mind. <laughs> Captain Bill, his skin is alive with it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Tell us more about it. Yeah, go ahead. Come, come on, on, tell us about it. Right. Right. Come on. All right. Well, it was this way. I... Oh, <laughs> 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 What's the matter with you girls? Haven't you got anything better to do than to talk about treasure? There's customers to wait on. Come on, get busy. And Anna, come here. You know Captain Bill's mate. What did he tell you about it? Oh, mate, tell me. The foreign hedge of the body is so full of gold, you're walking it up to your knees. Mm. What a sensation. Up to your knees, eh? So you see, the story's all a myth. There is no treasure. It all started with this one loan to Bloom. You know, this is really a terrible disappointment to me. I'm beginning to be kind of disappointed myself. <laughs> You're one of the richest men on earth, Bill. All the money in the world couldn't buy that body of yours. Yeah, I suppose I ought to be thankful. Trouble is, it costs so much to feed it. Well, thanks for the breakfast, Doc. Goodbye, Miss Lewis. Goodbye. Poor Bill. He's flat broke. Oh, I'm sorry. You know he's been a hero to me ever since I first saw him. What, you met Bill before? Remember when the steamer McCullough went ashore eight years ago? Of course. I've always kept that clipping. I was on that steamer with my mother and father. Captain Bill's little schooner was the first to reach us, and he stood by in that terrible storm until everyone was saved. Oh, he was wonderful. Bill shows up best in storms and fights. <laughs> the minute I saw him, I knew he was my Captain Bill. I wish I could help him. <laughs> you silly child. I should think you'd have trouble enough without... Well, here comes one of your troubles now. The bumptious old fool. Shh! Have you no respect for wealth? None whatever. <laughs> Good morning, Doctor. Morning, Doctor. Morning, Warren. How sweet and cool you look, Madge. Just like a, like a jasmine in a garden. <laughs> yes, and you smell like one, Warren. Now, Doctor, a touch of scent doesn't know it any harm. I'd rather have it on my handkerchief than on my breath. <laughs> I got him that time. Yes. I know this Romeo of yours wants to be alone with you. Madge, I don't think the doctor likes me. Oh, it's just his way. I don't care much about him either. And I don't think you should stay here in his house. People are beginning to talk. That's ridiculous. I'm only thinking of your own good. I've told you a dozen times how fond I am of you. Why don't you marry me? You can't go on living like this. Have you heard of Captain Bill Jones, Mr. Warren? Heard of him? Who hasn't? They say he's found a great treasure somewhere. Yes, yes, I know. But he needs capital to go after it. Now, uh, if you would invest, say, uh, oh, a thousand dollars, without letting him know that I suggested it, why, uh, we might talk marriage seriously. Hey, watch out what you're doing. Oh. Oh. The captain's breakfast. Bill, did you ever have a list of the passengers you rescued from the McCullough? Yeah, they sent me a frame resolution of thanks. I hung it in the galley to keep the rats out of the flour barrel. <laughs> Have you ever met any of them since? The passengers, I mean. No, and I'm glad of it. There wasn't a good-looking gal in the bunch. I looked them all over, careful, like the same as I always do. Yes, there's one you missed, Bill. Which one? You'll see. Uh, uh, good morning, Bill. Hi, Dublin. Uh, 
Don't you think we could go below and have a little conversation, sort of uh, private-like? We're fumigating below to keep out the rats. Uh, but you'll have to have stores, Bill. You know, you can have anything we've got. Well, that's fair enough. Uh, all you've got to do is leave a couple of doubloons, uh, a couple of bags of doubloons in my safe for security, and then security. you can... Security? Uh, oh, I'm surprised at you, Joplin. That hurts coming from you. Ah, uh, but Bill, business is business. Secure it. Our visitors, Captain. Pretty lazy this time. But Bill, listen. Ah, you're a great disappointment to me, Joplin. Great disappointment. Oh. Hello, Captain Bill. May we come aboard? Well, hello, Miss Lewis. I'm glad to see you. Well, you come over the side like a sailor, miss. At least a sailor's daughter. And you've helped me over the side once before. When was I that lucky? It was on the Macau. You? I? I thought you said there were no good-looking women on the McCullough, Bill. Well, suffering mackerel. Oh, well, you better help Mr. Warren aboard. He's no sailor. Is that old goonie in the boat? Who is he? Shh. He's one of the richest planters on the island. What's he want? He wants to talk to you. Be nice to him, Bill. Come aboard, Mr. Warren. It's about time somebody thought of that. Careful, will you? You don't need to tear my arm out of its socket. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you had some meat on those bones. Oh, uh, Captain Bill Jones, Mr. Guy Warren. How do you do, Captain? Uh, first I want to see your ship. She ain't exactly a boudoir below deck. Never mind. I grew up at sea on my father's schooner. I'll show you about. If you go for it, hold your nose. Oh, I know. We carried copper, too. I don't mind it. Come on, Doctor. Charming girl. What, Captain? Yeah. Can you blame me for loving her? <laughs> loving her, you? Yes. Uh, uh, she wants me to invest a thousand dollars in your next treasure voyage. The devil she does. Yes, if I do, she'll marry me. Uh, now, if you let her think that I have invested the thousand, I'll, uh, I'll make you a little present of, say, a hundred dollars. Easy money, Captain. And she gets a fuzzy old granddad for her husband, eh? You and your rotten hundred bucks. Listen, you old walrus. You know where the devil lives? Of course I do. Well, go there, then. Oh, Bless I, you. I, I, come on. Hey, Ned, Ned, come here, quick. Hey, in the come here, Good Good Ned, boy. Ned. Can I help you choke? Uh, I'll teach you a lesson. You can't... Ah, I should have dropped him over the side. You. You show you, you can't. I hoped you'd accept his offer, but I'm kind of glad you didn't. <laughs> Did you know she was thinking of marrying that fuzzy old lobscouse? Yes. Yeah. Well, why don't you do something about it? What could I do? If you're a doctor, you could poison the old buzzard. <laughs> yes, I might at that. But the poor child would only be that much worse off. Why don't you marry her yourself? Do you think she deserves that? Besides, she was engaged to a boy. Well, they had some sort of misunderstanding. He must have been a dumb fool. Who is he? Well, a young trader by the name of Mackenzie. Old Walla Walla Burns made on the wildfire? That's the lad. He's a good sort, isn't he? Hmm, the best, but he needs a going over giving up a gal like that. Bill, she's licked. If anything should happen to me, her only way out would be to the... to the altar with old man Warren. I'll carry her off to sea before I'll let her do that. Make a pirate queen of her, eh? No, but we'll sail until we find a wildfire, and young Mac will marry her or I'll break his blasted neck. You can't sail, Bill. Where's the money to come from? Oh, yeah, that's it. The money. Skip. What the devil? What's this? Twenty dollars. Bert Skip, I didn't steal that money. A fella gave it to me to put some stuff in your coffee. Yeah? What kind of stuff? Something to put you to sleep. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then he and his mates are coming aboard to find our treasure. Then he's going to give me a hundred bucks more. <laughs> nice guy. Oh, swell guy, yeah. When's all this going to happen? Well, he says pretty soon now. He came out to see me today just to find out how smart I am. <laughs> By golly, I must be smart. We need grub. Why, you cheating, scheming devil, swindling a trusting businessman out of his investment. Ah. I wonder who's behind this. It's nobody off the beach. Nobody on the beach has got 20 bucks. 
Bert, this thing's going to run into money. Big money. That doubloon wasn't so unlucky after all. <laughs> and your good luck, Captain. I'm the ship's mask. The roaring waves become our slaves, we may. Ahoy, Bill! Ahoy! Ahoy there! Hello there! Hello, Bill. I don't know how to thank you, but the doctor told me what you said, and I'm sailing with you when you leave the pier. Well, wait a minute. I've been thinking. A girl like you alone on a schooner with a guy like me? Maybe we ought to have a chaperone. That's right, you should. You come along. Sure, Doc. Everybody knows you're on the level. The boys would do you good. Not a bad idea. I'd like to get away at that. Then it's settled. How soon do we sail? Well, if I can raise some money in a day or two, we'll put to sea. And another thing, as soon as we overhaul the wildfire, you're going to marry young Mackenzie. Do you get that? I get it, Phil. Well, what's the matter? You love him, don't you? You're an old sweetheart. <laughs> well, I'm glad that's settled. So long, Bill. So long, Doc. Bye. Hey, Captain. What? Hey, Skip, come here. Come here. That fellow that gave me the money, he came aboard to see me while you was out fixing the gym. He said that tonight's the night I'm to put that stuff in your coffee. Here's the stuff. Did you get any more money out of him? More money? No, but he said tonight... Ah, uh, you don't understand the business of being a proper crook. A crook promises and gets paid. Then he backs down and gets more pay. He had the money to give you, all right. You didn't have sense enough to ask for it. I ought to take it out of your wages. If you ever get any wages. Look, and then after you're knocked out with the stuff, I'm supposed to show a light in the taffrail. Then he comes out in a boat with some gin for the crew. Nice guy. And there'll be a powder in the gin. Oh, sure, but I don't know that. And then when the crew gets good and drunk, he and his mates come aboard and get the gold. <laughs> and you get knocked in the head. Oh, sure, he's a nice guy. You know, the fellow behind this rig out would be a pretty smart guy. If he wasn't such a fool about treasure. My biscuits are burning. <laughs> Dead to the world. It worked all right. That's fine, fine. Take a look at the rest of the crew. Yeah. A blasted sense and act like we was afraid of them. They won't wake up. Look. See him laying down there, the big lug? Ah, that gives us the whole night to work in. We'll tear this tub's ribs from the keel till we find it. It'll be below decks. Have you got your tools, chips? Yeah, I got them right here. Come on, come on, let's go. Over the head. You ain't going to. Hire a gold as any man's as can get it. But no hitting of a man what's been dropped. Look here. It's been tampering with a bulkhead here. Most natural to be hidden that where you could keep an eye on it. Uh, to tear it out. Right. Smash it in. It's coming. Hey! Were you looking in the wrong place, mates? Mike! Born to steal my treasure, eh? Joblin. So you're the guy behind this, eh? I suppose you know it means prison for all three of you. <laughs> it, it was a gamble, Bill. Uh, just looking for your treasure? I lost him. I'll pay. You bet you'll pay. You'll sweat the bilge out of your filthy hide on a rock pile. Oh, no. No, Bill. Listen. You've got to have stores. I'll bring everything you need on board and... You just make out a list and I'll take them ashore. Ashore? Ha, ha, ha! You'd get ashore once and you'd call me a liar. You'd say you weren't even on my ship. Can I give him a shave, Captain? Captain, 
Let me put some of that stuff he sent for you in a cup of coffee and give him nice drink, huh? Right. Well, pour <laughs> it down his throat and we have to knock his teeth out. Oh, oh, no, 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 Bill. You wouldn't do that. Then do I get an order for all my stores, all I need? Do you stay here locked up until they're all aboard? Y yes, Bill. Any anything you say. Well, let this be a lesson to Trying to steal my treasure, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for a hat full of wind. It'll come with a tide at eight bells. Then we'll up anchor and sail. But Mike's still ashore, isn't he? Yes, he's saying goodbye to his girl. Oh, he'll be aboard in time, all right. I've never seen it quite so calm here at night. You're so lovely. Oh, I'm so glad to be aboard your ship. I'm happy, Bill. Good. So am I. Careful. You know, they say only one woman aboard a ship is bad luck. Yes, I've seen that work out, too, but it all depends on the woman. You're good luck for me. Nothing can go wrong now. Hot and Bill! Oh, I saw someone swimming toward the ship. That's an Anna. Captain Bill! Captain Bill! Oh, Captain Bill! Well, take it easy, Anna. What's happened? It's my Captain Bill. You go quickly kill him. What do you mean? Who's going to kill him? Something and maybe to make him tell where Treasure Island is. Something that he's going to kill Mike if he don't tell. One of you boys into the boat lively now. I'm going ashore. Look out, but it may be a trap. And it may not be a trap. If they've hurt Mike, I'll tear the place down around their ears. All right, I'm going with you then. Well, suit yourself. Here, take care of her, Madge. Well, come below and I'll get you some dry clothes. Gee, if I was a well man, Skipper, I'd go with you. You fellow boy, keep going down. I know what a board like it back. Yeah. There, this will cover you up till we get something better. Oh, this is pretty. I guess I look too nice to be good, huh? Oh, I wouldn't say that. I know this will kill me, but I'm going to help the captain. Where's the way we got him? I don't know. Come on, spit it out. I'll tell you, I don't know anything about it. Oh, Come on, come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on, come on. Burn the poor devil till he's nothing but raw meat. Who did this to you, Mike? Huh? Who did it to you? Edmund Samson. Mamie. She had it too. They torture me. They want me to tell where is Treasure Island. I no can tell that. I don't know. Come on, let's get out of here, Doc. All right, Bill. Listen to me. I'm taking this man back to my ship if I have to burn down the joint. Yeah, yeah. Give him a chance to tell you what happened here. You can see what's happened. That kid there that he's got was hiding away from him in one of my rooms. Oh, look, he's almost murdered the poor devil. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, Mamie, you asked for it. Here, take him, Doc. Okay. Gee, 
if I only had my health. Come on now. Here it comes. <laughs> Wild Captain? I can't make out a rig. She's acting mighty strange, lying broadside in the channel like that. Looks though somebody had the idea of keeping us from going out. By golly, it's Joblin Schooner, the Maluka. I can see him plain now. Black Pierre's got her. He's putting off with a boatload of our men. Visitors coming. Issue rifles, Mike. Are you sure it's Joblin's Maluka? Hello. Yes. He's armed with a crew of at least 20 men. Do you suppose it means trouble for us? Can't tell yet. What they're in here for, only the devil knows. She can bet it's for no good. If I didn't have the girls, when they blast me, I wouldn't be glad to see Pierre. I've licked him before and I can lick him again. Are there with 20 men in his crew? Ah, uh, 20 or 100. He'd give me a fair fight. Ah, uh, but what about Joblin? Joblin ain't so sure. He's up to devil with that one. Hey, 
Lieutenant Captain Veal. I come for visit. You're coming aboard alone, Pierre. What? Are you afraid of me? Yeah, I'm afraid I'll have to waste good canvas to give you a proper burial. Mike, have the men keep an eye peeled. If another boat from the schooner heads this way, we sink this one. Right, Captain. <laughs> Ladies aboard, huh? This is a pleasure cruise, Bill. Yeah, come on, stow that and keep your eyes off the ladies. Why jack her out there in the channel? Hmm, it was proper depth. I think it's best to be safe. Uh -huh. You see that gaff? If you think you're going to stop me when I'm ready to go, try it. I'll hang up there to dry. Joplin on the Maluka? I swear on my honor to say he was not. Neither he nor his friend, Samson. I was sent to demand you surrender, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> friend, speak up, why don't you? You got your face hidden, but I can smell you like a mutt old beached whale. Bill, if you surrender, I promise you that no harm will come to you and your people. We know you got that gold on board. Yeah? Just come aboard any time you like and try and find it. Oh, you... Yeah, you can carve him another time, Mike, and save his gizzard for me. Get back to your job. And then get below. Hey, you work fast, don't you? The girl, she's an old friend. Yeah, I know, but keep clear. Michael, whittle your ears off. I didn't come here to fight you, Bill. I'm their navigator only. Yeah, I'd believe you quicker than any other liar I know, but that won't keep me from cracking your skull if you start anything. Now, get the places off my ship. Hey, <laughs> come and get me before these fellow wins me over completely. I do, Bill. And good luck. Well... The odds are three to one. Twenty of them against six of us. Look here, don't count me out, Bill. I can handle a rifle. So can I. Well, they may try it tonight, but we'll be ready for them. Hey, Skip. I don't feel so good, but if there's any trouble, you can count on me. Watch with the boys. Well, good night. Good night. Captain Bill. Captain Bill. She's gone. She's gone. Who's gone? Anana. She's not in her cabin. I look all over ship, but I cannot find her. So that's what Pierre was up to. You mean she go back to him? Oh, no, Captain. Only last night she told me she loves me. Well, it looks like it, Mike, old son. She swam off to more than one ship. Nana, I knew you'd come. We're going together, Mike, you and me and the boys. And we're waiting until the morning. All right, Captain. Uh, hi, Mary. Look, Captain Bill. Help. Here, here, how can I? That was a tough swim, hurt like you are. Come on, speak up, man. That's what you came for, ain't it? Anana come to see me, but Samson took her away. He tried to make her tell for you hide treasure. He wouldn't believe that she didn't know. So he beat her till she died. I fight for her, but Samson finished me. Poor little Anana. Serve me right. You're getting off easy, Pierre. As soon as they sober up their men, they come to attack you. Get ready, Bill. We'll do better than that. We'll beat them to it. Do what you can for them, Doc. Yes. Into the boat, Mike. Twenty rounds each man. I can fail. I'm leaving Doc and you in charge to hold the deck. One way or another, I won't be gone long. How about it? You know best, Bill. You're not afraid? No, I'm not afraid. I'm I'm scared. I'm I'm anxious, but I'm not afraid. Don't ever tell young Mac I did that with you. 
I'll never tell him. Well, Doc, I guess it's up to you. Of course. You have a nice day for it, Bill. Yeah? It smells a little like rain. And where's your rifle, Perp? Oh, I'm a sick man, Captain, and I'm afraid of guns, so I'm taking this. All right, Doctor. Go right on. Right on. Come on, you. Come on. Get him over there. Come on, you. Aha, Samson. Thank eh? you. Oh, blast you, Mike. We can't spare him, not yet. You haven't won yet, Jones. Jovin is aboard your schooner now. Killing every soul you left aboard. Ah, Mike, come with me. Burp, you stay here and watch these guys. If we don't come back, you'll know what to do with them. Come, come on, Mike. They're in there. Come on out. All right, break it down. Be careful, Doctor. Good boy, Pierre. I'll be all right. Get me that lid. Quick. Break it down. What can I do, Doctor? Nothing, my dear. They'll rush us any minute. They're probably ready for us right now. Let them come. What can we do? Two wounded men and a girl. Here, give me the gun. Stay back. Here they come. Bill. I give up. I surrender. Let me hear it, Captain. No. Uh, he'll cheat. We'll hang. There's a thousand pounds reward for the murder of Captain Lewis. No, no, no. I, I didn't do it. I didn't kill him. It was Samson. I, I swear, Bill. Uh, come on. Get him below. Ahoy! Ahoy, Doc. I, I knew you'd be back. <laughs> Your calamity, Bill. Can't we do something? No, no, my dear. I'm in luck. Better this way than by the alcohol route. Good sailing. You too. It's the wildfire, Mike. Where's Captain Bill? Below. With Samson. You better run up the distress signal. We'll need help. 
Then call the captain. You're going to keep me tied up like this? You're too valuable to lose, Samson. Joblin just confessed that you murdered Captain Lewis. <laughs> that gentleman paid me to do it. To get his note for 20000 out of the captain's safe. But I didn't give him his note. I told him I burned it. And you didn't burn it, eh? Maybe you've got it on you right now. Why are you blessed? Let me just have a look. Miss Lewis needs that paper in order to collect from Joblin's estate. Let's see what you've got here. Well, that looks like it. By golly, it is it. I'm keeping you tied up and locked in, Samson. I don't want Mike to cheat the hangman. Oh, Madge, you see that schooner hove to over there? It's the wildfire. Look, they're putting off a boat. Walla Wagga will be sending young Mac aboard. In no time at all, you'll be in each other's arms. You're glad, I guess. Hmm? Mighty glad. Are you? Me? What have I got to do with it? Oh, here's a little wedding present for you. Twenty thousand dollars. That'll set you and Mac up in a nice little home, all right. I'll never get a chance to do this again. Goodbye. All happiness to you. Where's Mike? Oh, he went below to call you. Below? Holy smoke, he's after Samson. Help! Help! What are you doing? Let me go, Captain Bill. That man belonged to me. I'm gonna kill him for what he do to my Anana. I'm gonna break and twist every bone in his body. Not that sue me better, Mike, but that's one pleasure I can't give you. There's a rope waiting for that guy in Tapilio. Rope is too good for him. He should die as my Anana die. I know, Mike, but you can't cheat ourselves. They've got a thousand pounds reward on his neck. That won't make me forget. I know, I know how you feel, but... Come on, fuck up, old kid. Think of all the oceans we ain't even seen yet. There's a world of fun just waiting for you and me. Ahoy! Come on, kid. Hello, Mac. Bill! We saw you the stress signal. Something wrong? Plenty that's wrong and lots that's right. Hello, Mac. Madge. Madge Lewis. Well, of all the... What are you doing aboard this Never ship? mind what she's doing. Don't stand there gaping at the girl. Take her in your arms and give her a kiss. That's what she's been waiting for. We've been lying here at Kika waiting for you to get in so that you two can get married. I got a master certificate. I'll splice the knot and get it over with. But, Bill, I've been married for the past six months. Madge knows that. She's not at all the time. She well, was the one that sent me away to marry the other girl. What? Hey. Why'd you let me carry you off to find young man? Well, I, I wanted to go for a sail. Well, uh, don't stand there gaping at her. Take her in your arms and give her a kiss. That's what she's waiting for. You might...